each over. What's up, Monday Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at airline companies. Um, we got some really bad news um, last week when Warren Buffett actually decided to pull all uh, Berkshire Hathaway investments um, in airline companies. I mean, it's a massive, massive blow to the airline companies. And if you look today, they have taken a beating um, so before we actually jump into examining whether um, it's still a buy or sell at this point, um, I want us to kind of uh, talk about some of the key things that I got from the transcript of uh, the Berkshire Hathaway call. So Warren Buffett actually uh, made three key things that actually um, resonated with me. Number one is that he actually uh, praised the management of all these airline companies. So we're talking about Delta, uh, American, Southwest, and United. So he said they have good management. And so uh, number two is that he said the, the problem of the airlines really facing this challenge is not because of them, but it's because of the virus, which we all understand. The virus came in beyond control of the airline companies and really smacked them um, in, in the face. And then finally, number three takeaway was that it's gonna take between three to five years for the airline companies to fully recover. And so um, after losing a ton of money, uh, Berkshire Hathaway is actually pulling all the assets uh, uh, from airlines. Um, as an investor, um, I can understand that Warren Buffett is one of the smartest uh, investors of our time, if not the smartest investors of our time. So when he makes a move like this, what happens, um, you see a ton of panic and when this panic, there's a lot of sell off. And so people are gonna start selling off and everybody's gonna downgrade airline companies because Warren Buffett is pulling out. But I want you to take a step back as your own individual investor because um, I understand, and again, I, I follow Warren Buffett religiously. And one of his key quotes that I really, really love, and I use that as my invest, one of my investment approaches, is that you should be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And so if I follow that same principle, right now, what's happening is that people are, are fearful. People are selling off all airline stocks because Warren Buffett pulled out. So me, if I follow what he says, now it's time for me to be greedy. So I'm gonna look at uh, the top airlines and see which ones really fit my need. For full disclosure, I already have Delta and I have American in my portfolio. So um, United and maybe Southwest, I'm gonna look at them and consider adding some of that to my portfolio. But before we even get to the details, um, here's what I want you to really examine. Airline companies, as we all know, took a really big hit with this virus. Um, everything, people don't fly. It's, I mean, basically we're trapped in the house, so there's really no movement. And um, I don't foresee this just rebounding immediately, right? If tomorrow, if there is a vaccine for uh, COVID-19, people are gonna start going about their business because we cannot be trapped inside forever. What are you gonna do, drive your car across the country to go to work? There's people that live in the West Coast that uh, work in the East Coast and vice versa or in, in the Midwest. So people are still gonna fly, even if it means that people are gonna start wearing the mask to fly, people are still gonna fly. But uh, uh, the amount of people that just fly for say leisure, it's really gonna reduce until um, there is a, a full uh, confident that this virus is under control. So you're gonna see that, so there's gonna be a slow uh, a return to flying, in, which would impact the airline companies. So where am I going with this? What I'm saying is, if you are a long-term investor, if you see value in any of these stocks, just because people are selling out because, because Warren Buffett actually pulls their, their, their investments in airlines, doesn't necessarily apply to you. You should be your own individual decision maker, not just follow the masses. Um, again, like I said, he states if when people are fearful, it's time for you to be greedy. And when people are greedy, it's time for you to be fearful. So I'm applying that same principle. People are being fearful right now with airlines and I'm looking at being greedy. So again, I'm gonna do my homework. I'm gonna go back again, look at it again. I'm gonna look at two. I'm gonna look at um, Southwest and I'm looking at United and see, because our, like I said, I already have Delta and American. So I'm, I'm looking at if they keep the drop again, I'll add to my position. 
um, my investments in this com in these um, airlines is not short term. So if you are somebody that is looking to make a return in the next say six months, twelve months, one year, two year, you're expecting to get all your money back. That's probably not going to happen. Um, but in the next four or five years, uh, when this, everything gets back to normal, you're going to see tremendous amount of growth. So to me, that is my time um, horizon. I'm not looking in the next 12 months. So I, I'm, I'm going to invest in these companies. Um, I'm not as scared as other people. As a matter of fact, uh, people panicking and selling off means good news to me. Um, means I should go in and buy just like Warren Buffett says. Um, yeah, so I think uh, another good thing that I got out of the call is that Berkshire Hathaway right now has tremendous amount of cash in hand. So I'm going to be following them wisely uh, and just to see where they're going to deploy that capital to, you know, to actually invest because there's a lot of money that they got. Um, so I want to see which stocks he's looking at. Is he going to be looking at um, maybe work from home? Um, uh, companies like Zoom and all that stuff, or where is he going to put that money? Because oil and gas is is taking a beating. Um, like I say, airlines are taking a beating. Um, tech, uh, it's some tech companies are doing just fine. Others are struggling. So, um, healthcare is another good place where he can potentially put that money. But I'm not Warren Buffett. I'm just a, another guy in his basement making YouTube videos. Um, but so here's what I want I want to tell you. Um, investing in the stock market takes a lot of uh, discipline, a lot of research and a game plan. I don't want you to blindly follow people just because uh, somebody does this means you should do it. I want you to invest doing your own research. Um, in, in my case, like I, I'm trying to break it down. Airline companies are, are really, really struggling. And the prices are at like 75% or even not some are like 80% down from their 52 week high. That shows me there's a tremendous amount of opportunity there. One other thing that makes me think again, I want to invest more is that I don't anticipate that these companies are going to go bankrupt. As a matter of fact, the major airline companies actually got $25 billion from the stimulus package that uh, Congress passed. So, which is one of the reasons why Warren Buffett said he was living too. I totally forgot that one. He said he's living because he don't like he doesn't like to invest in companies that um, take bailout money, which means they don't have cash to operate. Or again, that that's his principle, which is good. So these companies took twenty five billion dollars, and I don't see them going bankrupt. If there's any sort of bankruptcy, what I see instead is the companies consolidating. So American, United, Southwest, and it might might consolidate and, and form a big giant, even more stronger company. Um, again, uh, we depend so much on um, airlines for movement and stuff like that. So I don't see. Um, these companies disappearing like this business model is not going to go anywhere. So it's going to be here, but just um, be ready that if you're investing your money in this company, you're not looking at an immediate return. You're looking at long term. You're looking at at least um, three years, four years, even five years before you can actually see um, full return to normal and profit. And hopefully a lot of the ones that have suspended their dividends, they can return back to paying dividends again and then you get back to it. Um, ideally, uh, times like this comes around every 10 years. So if this presents itself, I don't want to miss out on the opportunity. And this is my personal uh, my opinion. I'm taking a chance. Um, I know the Oracle of Omaha says he's pulling out and people are pulling out along with him. I am moving in. I'm going into airlines. I'm watching as the price drops. I'm buying more. So um, question of the day, what do you guys think? Do you think airline companies are ever going to recover or this is uh, just something, this is just panic because, hey, uh, people are just are uh, they're prone to panicking when somebody like Warren Buffett makes a move. Or do you think uh, it's a really, really bad idea to invest any money in airline companies right now? Let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. And if that's something that really interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, stay motivated.